Welcome to this week's math problem. This was thrown to me by a uh, exam taker in Ohio studying for their class two, um, and they use the ABC style uh, tests. It's it appears um, because uh, this came out of an ABC study guide, and um, they asked for some help. Said, "Hey, this one's stumping me." And thank you so much for that question. Um, I do want to throw out there: if you have a question about any math problems, please ask me. I have another person who got stumped by a grade five California. Um, question that had to do with uh, dry solids and polymer. That will be my next math problem, but I got to shake the rust off of that one. So give me, give me a few days to get that math problem out. But back to the uh, business at hand. If you have any um, questions at all, please put it in the comments below. I, I prioritize questions before I prioritize my predetermined curriculum. Also, if you get anything out of this today, please like, subscribe, pass it to your friends. Okay. RAS return rate using SV30 and secondary influent flow. How do we solve for this? Uh, there's two ways. They're really the same way. It's just written a little differently. And I find that uh, one of them is better for canceling units out, uh, just for my brain anyway. Uh, and the other thing we should probably talk about is what is SV30? We haven't talked about it on this channel yet. That is a 30 minute set solids test. Why well, set solids? Settleability test. That's the proper way to say it. Um, you take a one liter sample of your MLSS and you let it set up for 30 minutes and then you take a measurement uh, where it, it settles. And it drops down to, uh, in this case, we're given 270 milliliters per liter. <clears throat> uh, so 270 milliliters of that one liter sample is settled sludge. Everything on top is clear water or should be clear. <laughs> um, so there's two different equations to do this. Uh, you have Q, this might be written Q RAS. I just, for the sake of space, put QR. Your flow, your return rate in MGD, Q is in MGD, uh, uh, equals your secondary influent flow in MGD times your SV30 number divided by 1,000 minus SV30. Where's, what's 1,000? Um, that's, remember, it's a one liter sample, okay? And this is a ratio right here. And that's why I think this one's a little better for understanding exactly what we're doing. But if you're the type of person that just needs to know an equation, this is probably a little faster than doing it like this. Um, but both of them are fairly straightforward and easy. Okay, the other way to write this is your return rate in MGD is your secondary influent flow in MGD times your return sludge rate ratio, which is the ratio is SV30 divided by 1000 minus SV30. Well, that's exactly that, isn't it? Okay, we're just doing this first and then we're multiplying instead of multiplying, subtracting, and then dividing. It just depends on your flavor of the day and what you feel like doing. Um, by the way, I've seen this written on conversion sheets where it says SV30 divided by the clear water or clear effluent in milliliters per liter. Well, that's they're, they're not giving you everything. What they're telling you is they're, they're, I guess that what they're doing here is you need to already know that this is a one liter sample. Okay, so if you see it written like that, just remember that's a thousand minus SV30. Please ask questions if that was a little over your head or um, you need me to explain that a little differently. Okay, so the numbers we were given was my influent flow was 2.9 MGD, my secondary influent flow, 2.9 MGD, and my SV30 was 270 milliliters per liter. Well, let's work it out. 2.9 MGD times 270 milliliters per liter divided by 1,000 milliliters per liter minus 270 milliliters per liter, okay? So 2.9 times 270 is 783, and 1,000 minus 270 is 730. Now, this is where it gets a little sticky because I don't, I, it, because I multiply these together and those, those units don't combine. Uh, I've got 783 MGD by milliliters per liter. Okay, divided by 730 milliliters per liter. And then we can cancel these units out. That's why the ratio is actually a little easier and we'll get there in a second. You'll see how I can get the milliliters per liter out of the equation before I introduce it to MGD. And then when you do that division problem, it's 1.07 MGD and you round to 1.1 MGD. This was one of the four answers that was in the study guide. Um, and so uh, it's, what's really nice about multiple choice is uh, you can see that, hey, look, I've got, I've got one of them. <laughs> and so 1.1 MGD is what I got on that one. And uh, to double check my work, I did it the other way. And I suggest if you know how to do a math problem two different ways, 
do it two different ways to ensure you get the correct answer, um, or at least a consistent answer, okay? And, and you know you're onto something when your, your results are consistent with different math equations. Return ratio, okay? We're gonna do that first. So this is the second way to solve this problem, which is 270 milliliters per liter divided by 1,000 minus 270 milliliters per liter. And then that brings you down here, which is 270 divided by 730. And that right there, you can cancel those milliliters per liter out. It's so much easier to see it right there. Okay. And that gives you a ratio of 0.37, 2.9 MGD. Now we're going to do this equation to get our return rate, which is secondary influent flow times that ratio that we just figured out. And that's 2.9 MGD times 0.37. And that gives us the same exact number, 1.07 MGD, and we round to 1.1 MGD. If you have any questions, please ask. If you have a math problem that's stumping you, please ask. Okay, uh, that's it. Please uh, like, subscribe, like I already said, and uh, ask questions. If anything about this was confusing, please ask. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.